basis of cyclical analysis part number two going into depth. Hello, in this class I want to show you some nuances of usage spectrum module in time and solution software. Uh, this is outline of this class. It will be short class. First step, Fourier string charting tool understanding cover tones. After recording the first class, I have received several questions about overtones, so I have decided to make a more detailed explanation about them. I want to show you how overtones work. I believe the best way to demonstrate how overtones work is to, is to apply Fourier string charting tool. Uh, the major idea of Fourier string charting tool is the fact that any price uh, pattern can be explained, can be constructed a superposition of harmonic uh, waves, sinus wave. I will download this example. Just example. Uh -huh. Okay. You see, I want uh, to interpolate uh, this piece of price chart with harmonic base between these two dates. In, in order to do that, run Fourier string charting tool. Here it is, it's advanced charting tool techniques. Click here, Fourier string. And drag mouse button, mouse cursor from one data to another data. Here it is. Okay. Set amount of overtones to one. You see, this is pure sinus wave. This is uh, how a program uh, interpolates this piece of price chart with one sinus wave. Now increase the amount of overtones to two. Two overtones. You see, there is one more wave, small wave, minor wave, with a half of period. At this projection line, this super superposition of the two these waves, major wave and half of period wave. Now I will add third wave. There is one more wave with a period uh, one third period and this uh, superposition of three waves. Uh, let's it set it uh, to uh, eight, for example. You see, this projection line interpolates this uh, piece of price chart very well. So this piece of price chart can be, inter it can de can be interpolated by a superposition uh, of uh, eight harmonic waves very well. Uh, actually, I personally consider uh, this tool mostly as educational feature de to demonstrate how Fourier idea about harmonic waves as universal language of mathematics works. Uh, I believe stock market reality is much more complicated. By the way, if stock market is in uh, cyclical mode, is in trend mode, I recommend to uh, eliminate trend using uh, another target, set target, uh, set it to RPO, relative price oscillator. You can actually use any indicator there, but I recommend to set RPO. Okay. Next parameter, metric. This is this. It is here. Uh, this is very simple. For example, uh, we have downloaded a daily price, price, price chart, end of day, and the question is what cycles we should to use? Uh, trading day cycles or calendar day cycles? In other words, uh, like a um, cycle with period 55 trading day uh, or a cycle with period 55 um, calendar days. This is a big difference. If we analyze calendar days, set time metric here. In this pro case, the program calculates the um, period of this cycle. It's uh, 147 uh, uh, days, calendar days. If you plan, plan to analyze uh, trading day cycles, in other words, you want to exclude weekends and holiday, Set bar metric here. Here it is. In this case, we will analyze uh, uh, trading days, not calendar, trading. Uh, so the program shows the period in this cycle. It's uh, 101 bars. Bars, it means uh, trading days. Uh, what metric is better to use? Uh, for daily data, you can actually use both time and bar metrics. 
but I prefer to use a time metric because very often for um, this, uh, cy these cycles coincide with uh, some astronomical cycles. And using uh, calendar days metric, time metric here, it's easy to see them. So I recommend for daily data use this metric. Uh, for daily data use this metric. Um, for intraday data there are not any choices. We have to use bar, bar metric only, only this metric. And uh, by the way, when you download the um, intraday price history, the program sets this uh, metric automatically. If you will apply time metric for intraday data, you will face this problem of intraday gaps. You will see the, gap, uh, the gaps in projection line between uh, two trading days. And now I will download uh, time solution worksheet with uh, example how it works. The second. In this case, I have I have downloaded uh, intraday data and I try to apply spectrum spectrum cycles uh, for uh, time spectrum uh, cycles in time, not bars. You see the projection lines. There is gaps gap. These gaps appear between uh, two trading days. But if we will switch um, uh, to bar metric, bar metric calculated, choose any cycle, let it will be this cycle, send, send this cycle to main screen, you see, uh, this gap will disappear. So remember, for intraday data, you have to use bar metric only. There is one more possibility is to measure the cycles using planetary angles, not time, but angles. Look at this. Here, set metric other metrics and click this small button, hit is, hit is, and choose there, for example, moon phase time. The program will, uh, will um, uh, calculate angle between uh, sun and moon and use this angle, angle separation between sun and moon as measure to, uh, to as, as time measure, as uh, measure to calculate time. For example, I will choose this cycle and you see the period of this angle, of this cycle is uh, uh, 1700, um, 1700 uh, 99 degrees of uh, moon sun angle. Um, actually, I recommend uh, to check our website timeinsolution.com. Just a second, I will show it. And um, click uh, knowledge database here. Uh, type metric. You, you will find de detailed explanation about uh, this uh, subject. Uh, you see, this subject is, uh, is of a special interest for me as a physicist. Uh, this way we try to find some specific time for our financial instruments, some non-linear time, this time uh, uh, defined by planetary movements, and uh, this is not regular time. This is very interesting, I tell you. Um, another possibility, target. Next subject is target. Uh, uh, this is this feature of uh, spectrum model. The question is, uh, what cycles we are looking for? Short-term cycles, the cycles that are located there, or long-term cycles located there, or mid-term cycles in the middle. If you plan to analyze short-term cycles, the cycles that are located in this part of periodogram, like 50 days, 30 day cycles, I recommend to set short-term uh, target. Short-term target. Set it to a relative price oscillator with period 10 days, 10, 10 uh, bars. Here it is, one, 10, 10. Click calculate. You see, these cycles will be emphasized. Now you will see this. Uh, there is a cycle with period uh, 30, 35 days cycle. Uh, if you plan to analyze long-term cycles, 
I recommend to set long term oscillator, like set oscillator with period 300 bars. 300 bars. Here it is. All right. You see, now the program will emphasize uh, a long term cycle with period uh, uh, almost uh, 40 months cycles. It's uh, Kitchener cycles, kitchen uh, inventory cycle. Actually, you can use any technical indicator there. For example, we can calculate ADX, uh, spectrum for ADX, technical analysis indicator. Calculate it, extract cycles there, and make forecast for ADX. It will be forecast for ADX, not a relative price oscillator, but ADX. You can, uh, the same way, uh, we can uh, make forecast for RCI, MACD, any indicator. And finally, last model I want to show you. This is harmonic box model. Uh, actually, this is very interesting, uh, interesting technique. It, com it combines in one box uh, spectrum model that allows to reveal the most important cycles and a la Bradley barometer model that al allows to adjust uh, these cycles for your fin financial instrument. And you ca can adjust it uh, manually. Look at this. Uh, this is a periodogram calculated for RPO, relative price oscillator. I will choose this cycle, this cycle, and this one. Three cycles. Now I click this button, select it. You see the program will send, will send these cycles and they overtones to this uh, box, cycle box model. And now click this button. You see this small yellow button, it's harmonic box. And look at this, it's very interesting. You see, this is projection line, red projection line. By the way, you can see this projection line, oh, sorry, in the main screen. Okay, you will see. Okay. Here it is. In the main screen. Whatever. Uh -huh. In the main screen, here it is. Um, this is a red line. This is superposition of uh, three cycles we have chosen. We have chosen uh, 147, uh, 328, and 50 day cycles. Look at these slides. You can vary the change of these cycles. For, uh, for example, increase the weight of uh, this 147 day cycles. Or increase uh, this uh, 50 day cycles to see uh, it will be more detailed projection line. Uh, this is a very interesting feature. By the way, I recommend to play with amount of overtones. Uh, set it, uh, for example, to 1. I will close this harmonic box and uh, set amount of overtones to 1. I will remove all cycles there and send the cycles to harmonic uh, cycle box again. Yeah, this is, uh, yeah based uh, on, uh, on one overtones only, position line based on one overtones, and you can play with it. That's it, thank you.